guys, what's up? Welcome back. I know it has been a minute, so don't, you know, come for me. But I am back today with a Halloween tutorial. I'm going to turn myself into a zombie. And so if y'all want to see how I do this, then you already know what to do. Grab you a snack, grab you a drink, and, you know, get ready for a sleigh. Also, if you are new to the channel, I am Beauty by S. Nicole. And, you know, just give your girl a subscribe. So we're going to start off. I did buy a few little prosthetics to use for this look. So with that being said, I'm going to take my spirit gum and we're going to, you know, apply these on the face. Y'all hear me? We're going to apply these on the face. Now I am looking to the side. So if you see me looking down or see me looking to the side, that is what I am doing. I'm trying to, you know, get a, a better outline of what I may where I may be applying this prosthetic because I want it to, you know, adhere to my face. You know what I'm saying? So we want it to adhere, adhere. So in order for it to adhere, we got to put some good old spirit gum down. Now I did put some on my nose. Y'all just stink so bad. So here I'm taking my prosthetic and I am going to take some spirit gum, which I have already applied on my face. And I also applied it on, on the inside of the prosthetic. A tip that I would say for beginners is to definitely use spirit gum in a well-ventilated area. Also, the longer you let the spirit gum sit before applying the prosthetic, the better adhesion you will have. But again, use this in a well-ventilated area. Now I'm just playing around with it to get it where I need it to stick and we'll move on to the next step. So I also bought some transfers. Cause like I said, I'm trying to do all of this by hand. I can do it by hand, so don't get it twisted. I can do it by hand but I'm not trying to do it by hand. Okay, so I did not find the direction. So I'm just gonna do what I think it want, I'm supposed to do with this. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do what we think we're supposed to do because I don't have no directions. So we're just gonna make it work. You know what I'm saying? Just rig it up. So I am back. As y'all can see, I went ahead and put on my fixative um, for my teeth. I'm gonna press that down. Now we're gonna hop into another one. I have two. And I already put down my spirit. My spirit gone. So we have that. And it is a bulging nose, so it's coming to life. I'm just trying to make sure that I still will be able to talk to you all as I do this. So that's pretty right on the money of where we want that. Now this is gonna be a little, you know, just what I wanna do next. So I'm trying to make sure I keep this out of my hair and that it is secure. So we're going to take some liquid latex, liquid latex, and we're going to take one of these. Here's sponges. So you definitely want to make sure you have a clean workspace and something to mix on. I'm going to be taking this right here and pouring on my latex because you don't want that on your vanity or wherever you're working from. So I'm going to take this right here, which is a paper towel. And I'm just gonna place that on my face. And it doesn't have to be perfect, y'all, because we're gonna go back in and, you know, twerk it and tweak it. I just did that so I have something to work with. Okay, so we're gonna just go in and do it, right? So let's go ahead and hop into it. And we're gonna set that right there. 
And I'm just taking some liquid latex and trying to get a good, see it's already starting to, oh my brows, I need my brows, no ma'am. And it can overlap as well too, because it's, it's a process y'all. So basically what I'm going to do is go all the way around my face and you see it's starting to absorb the paper towel. I'm gonna go in and put this all over my face to get the base down. Once I get the base down, I will come back and show you the next step. So I am back. We have dips right here. So we have the face down. Now we're going to take our eye. I'll see how I want this. Our liquid latex to secure it. Now I am taking a, another layer of liquid latex so that I can start my texture of my face. So I'm going back over with, you fin you ready? Oatmeal. I'm about to apply oatmeal. Yeah, oatmeal from your kitchen. I'm about to apply some oatmeal on top of that wet liquid latex so that I can add the texture for my zombie. So when you're doing these type of looks, definitely take your time, work in sections, but most importantly, enjoy the process. So you'll see me using this liquid latex in sections and applying my oatmeal in sections because you want to make sure that the texture is what you desire to make your look look realistic. Now I'm applying more liquid latex because here comes the pop out eye. I'm gonna just pop a eyeball there and hold it until it dries. You see it fell. So you have to hold it until it actually dries, until it's tacky and then boom, you got a pop eye. Now we are about to turn this zombie into a person. So we're gonna take some Foundation, I'm using an e.l.f. buffing brush to, as you see, buff in that foundation on top of that mask so that it does look like my skin. Because, you know, we got to make it real. It got to look real. If it don't look real, we ain't trying to have it. So y'all see where I'm going to go in with the foundation and just buff that all over the mask. Finishing up the eye, I'm hopping directly into the mouth. I'm using a mix of brown and burgundy to, you know, make the mouth look gored out. So I'm taking the 
sea moss green and that maroon shade from that paint palette and i'm going to just dab it all over my face in unknown areas to get my desired zombie skin that i desire and popping a little bit on my eyeball you know you got to make it you got to make it come to life okay this zombie has got to be the flyest deadest zombie you know walking dead style to bring this look together i'm going back in with my cinema secrets bruise palette and i'm going to do the little fine detail work around the mouth around the eyes you know just to make it you know come to life trigger alert trigger alert here comes the blood so i'm taking a cotton swab and blood scab and i'm going to go in and gore this look out you know what zombie does not have blood and not just regular blood dried scab blood you know i'm dead so you know it has to be gory so i'm going around the outer edges and the eye socket because you know i got a pop eye so my eye has to be bleeding or has been bleeding in the past Going in and goring this look out with this scab blood and, you know, finishing up this look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you didn't at the beginning, um, share this video with a couple of your friends. Because I believe that this video should, you know, people should see this content. They should see this gore. Taking my foundation brush and whatever foundation is left over in the brush, I'm just dabbing it all over my shirt so it looks like I did come out of the ground and I'm dirty. And just, you know, finishing up the process.